Last Blitzkrieg, I'm playing the goose egg scenario. And I'm calling it a wrap. Um, uh, I've, I've made it through, I've got like two activations left in this, no, three activations left in this. I, I've got to put this away because if one, I've had it out a long time. When that happens, it starts to kind of like, oh boy. Um, what I really need to do, Jeff from Hex Texas helped me out a lot. So thank you, sir. He sat on the sat on a messenger, Facebook messenger chat, and we've kind of walked through stuff and it's really helped me a lot. Um, I feel like I'm doing some good stuff, but I feel like I'm, I, need, I need to dive into the rules more and understand a little bit more. And I've got, um, so there's a few local players that, um, well, I could get on with anybody on Vassal. So anybody could do it on Vassal with me, which I might do with the local player anyway. But there's a couple of local players. So either I can get with them in person or maybe we can play some Vassal just to uh, kind of actually play it against each other maybe to kind of just understand more of the stuff. And I, again, I need to read the rules. Really, there aren't that many. There's just lots of little things. I, I need to also understand a little bit more what things are trying to represent. Because there's to me, there's a lot of different things in here. There's different engagement, like engagement zones and fire and, you know, uh, it's not, it's not, there's not like one common zone of control rule. So there's a lot of different things. You have different kinds of units. I'm not, all this stuff I'm not saying is bad. I am just saying it takes a little bit of different thinking. And, you know, especially on something where, well, there are, I suppose most games are like this. You need to be moving forward, but in Vold, you really got to be aggressive and move fast. And I've been trying to play more aggressive, but it's a little tough to do it in this because I don't understand all the things I can and should be doing. Um, so kind of a how to apply the rules is part of the issue. And I feel like I'm missing a lot of the rules because I haven't, now that I've played though, I feel a little bit more comfortable reading through the rules. But there's so many new concepts that I then have to apply them right away, right? I can't just read them and be like, okay, I got it. I'm going to have to apply them as I read them through. So, um, but it's fun. Uh, it's enjoyable. There's all kinds of fun little things that can happen, you know, with snafu rolls and coordination and keeping that stuff straight. And it's nice because you don't have to count out supply. You do have to count a little bit of supply, like distances, but it's not, it's pretty minor. What's more about is making sure you don't cross, you know, what they call cross streams by mix up uh, supply routes and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know why you couldn't do this on East Front. And I don't mean like Pangela Stan, but like mid, early, mid war, you know, East Front, like all the OCS stuff. Um, you know, what did I just read that they're also doing with this? They're doing Aircore, which I have pre ordered, but what's the other one I just read they're doing? Shoot. Anyway, whatever it was, I was like, okay, that's cool too. So they got some good stuff coming out. I'm not giving up on this at, by any stretch, um, but it was fun. Uh, thanks, Jeff Hextex, for helping me out. And uh, we're going to call it, it for now. I need to free up this table for now. But I'll probably jump on Vassal next with somebody. So thanks a lot. And uh, that's Last Blitzkrieg from MMP. I would recommend it. Again, maybe go with the smaller, you know, Brazen Chariots or they, what's the other one? Um, Baptism by Fire, they say, is a good starter. But you got Air Core coming out, and I have a thing that's going to come out. I have no insight into this, into MMP's operations, but I got to think it's going to come out fairly quick. They seem like they got these things pretty prepped up and ready to go. So if you can wait, get Air Accord, and it'll be a one-mapper. So, okay. We'll talk to you. See ya.